Hey everybody, before you watch the video, click subscribe. Would you please, pretty please? It would help us at Soul Boom so much. Click subscribe. My first drunk was at the Lutheran church. I was an altar boy and I got drunk on communion wine. <laughs> it was, you know, alcohol, drugs were just a way to just be somewhat comfortable in the world. And I think to have a sense of agency. I would get drunk and high if I felt bad. I would get <laughs> drunk and high if I felt good. Mm -hmm. I would get drunk and high if I were bored. I would get drunk and high just to have a different experience than the one I was having. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was, the o it was the only control I had over this because I had no awareness of this machine of experience mm -hmm. that we mm -hmm. are. I went to my first acting class when I was 26. Oh, damn. Okay. Pretty late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I stopped drinking when I just turned 32. Okay. After I had gotten the job that was supposed to fix me. You get the series regular job, the steady paycheck, the, the fame. The, it's just, the yeah. Attention. It's right. going gonna, gonna to do it. What role was that? It was a movie called Out of Bounds with Anthony Michael Hall and Jenny Wright. And, and I literally, I was in the room with the, the director and the writer. We'd been hanging out all afternoon. I said, so do I have the job or not? And I literally closed my eyes to watch the change happen inside my head. And nothing happened. They said, yeah, you got the job. Nothing happened. And I went out that night and drank a bottle of scotch and smoked a bunch of crack and nothing happened. I couldn't get drunk anymore. I couldn't get high. <sighs> the one thing that had never let me down. Let it stopped me down. working. Yeah, it stopped working. So, you know, I did, I did two weeks on the movie and then uh, stopped drinking. We had two weeks off for Christmas, New Year's. And I stopped drinking the day before New Year's Eve. And cold turkey or did you go cold into Cold turkey. Program? I checked into a motel and a hotel and sweated and shook for three days. And then thought, well, this is a really bad idea. I need mm. a drink. Mm. And, uh, you know, accidentally uh, got taken to a 12-step group. And uh, life from a different perspective began. Did you have a higher power before when you were drinking? Did you have a, you had a vague sense of some kind of Christian God going on up Christian there? It was Christian God who, I, in retrospect, I think what I did was I said, I know God wants to punish me. So I made like a tacit agreement with God. I'll stay over here and punish myself. You stay over there. <laughs> and if I ever I raise my head above above zero you can yeah. smack me down but i'll do it myself yeah yeah trust me yeah i'll take care i'm, I'm yeah. fine over here again I, got... <laughs> I literally beat myself up one night in front of the mulholland fountain on riverside and los Feliz. i punched myself in the face repeatedly with because i was in a fight with my girlfriend and that's what she did and she said stop stop i said you do this all the time she says yeah but i don't really hit myself so that's where I was living before. It reminds me of that scene started. from The Office where Dwight does fight himself with karate and self-defense. I don't know if you've seen that one. I that haven't. One. No. That's fantastic. The Soul Boom Podcast. Subscribe now on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and wherever else you get your stupid podcasts.